And we welcome you to Murphy High School. Fans, we're doing something a little bit different today, but we thought this would be a great opportunity to give you a glimpse into what we're doing over at GramStarsports.com. Most of you Gramstar Facebook followers see us promoting that website quite a bit. And what we've done with it this year, fans, is we're having folks go over and pay a minimal fee to enjoy Knights Athletics, but a portion of the proceeds from every single sale go back to the respective sport that they purchase a ticket for. So here this afternoon, we thought, why not? Let's do the best of both worlds. Let's bring two into one here. What we have in front of us, folks, is the Snowbird Termite Girls, and we know they have a very faithful following in Graham County. Hey, they're undefeated, 10-0 and this season, and they're trying to cap off that undefeated run here in the Smoky Mountain Youth Conference Championship Tournament, which has been held this year at Murphy. I'm Kevin Hensley with you this afternoon, high above the floor here at Murphy High School. And once again, we are going to watch Snowbird and Copper Basin duke it out with a piece of the Termite Girls Championship on the line. Of course, we'll see how that all plays out here below us. We'll be back in just a few moments with our opening introductions and we'll kind of talk about everything that's been going on here with the youth tournament today at Murphy. When we come back, stay with us, and we hope you enjoy this free telecast here on Facebook Live. At the line to receive the opening tip, Abby Dillard on your left from Copper Basin. And that was, of course, Emily Jones for Snowbird. Well, that's one way to get things started, folks. A quick foul will get us rolling here tonight. Or this afternoon, I should say, packed gymnasium as we welcome you back. We're doing this one exclusively for all of you here on Facebook Live. Hey, we had a 50-50 shot at getting it right. A lot more eyeballs on our Facebook streams. And quite frankly, we have not been able to do sports on Facebook because we switched to the pay-per-view model. And a one of two trip to the line for number 24. That was McKinley Adams shooting. And away we roll here in the first quarter. It's a minuscule one nothing Snowbird lead. Basket made by number 15 for the Copper Basin Cougars. That was Abby Dillard. And that'll give them a 2 1 advantage.
Ball goes out. Referee Carly Johnson scoops it up on the baseline. And it'll be inbounded to Copper Basin. Morgan Athens, the point guard, runs it up the floor. Another basket. Number 11 that time. That was Tempe Hughes. 4-1 Basin here in the first quarter. 5-0-7 to go. Junk ball will be called. Stays with the Warriors. Sub are 10 and 0 this season. Ball inbounded right here below us. Kenley Adams, the point guard, trying to ball across, but it's going to be a travel as Ophelia Beasley popped up a little too quick for the official's comfort. Yes, we've got a massive railing here in front of us. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. We'll try to raise the camera up at halftime. Just our height. Don't want to do anything while the action's going on. The officials back here behind us are trying to clear the wall. There are a bacoodle of kids lined up on the wall here at Murphy, soaking up the action. Ironically enough, Murphy players, hey, this is the only matchup today in this tournament that will be for a championship that will feature teams not from Murphy or Hayesville. Rebound by Emily Jones. And that's the first defensive board of the game for Snowbird. McKinley Adams pushes her way inside the arc. But a basket pass to Ophelia Beasley. Goes awry, and head coach Paige Jones right here below us. Giving him instructions. Kind of breathe a little bit. Hey, it's a big-time atmosphere. Championship at stake. A perfect season at stake. And a big block by the big redhead, Emily Jones. Thwarts the effort, but it'll be a base and inbound. That one airmail, number 23 for the Warriors. Natalie Swimmer will get the rebound. And trouble coming. I believe that's going to be a junk ball as well, and it is. And that turns it back over to Copper Basin for a one here in the first quarter. Hope you fans are enjoying this. Yo, we did not promote this ahead of time. We thought it'd actually be better, Emily Jones with the steal there. We thought it'd actually be better just to kind of surprise all of you with it for this Saturday afternoon treat. In case you couldn't make the trip down here to Murphy. Your future of Graham County basketball on the court right here in front of you. Foul is called. That'll be on number 10 for Snowbird. That's Alicia Garcia. Her first of the night, and it's actually the team's first. One apiece on the floor. And at the line to shoot is the point guard, Morgan Athens. And she'll make her first. Gives them a 5-1 nod. And a lane violation might give them another chance at it. And it does. Snowbird might have violated the push there. Emily Jones stretches and gets the rebound. And here come the Warriors. Ball is out. Last touch by the Lady Cougars from Copper Basin. The only out-of-state team to play in the Smoky Mountain Youth Conference. This caps off a almost two-week-long tournament here this afternoon at Murphy. The rebound turns into a dog pile, if you'll pardon the pun. We are at Murphy. Possession, Snowbird. 3, 38 left to go in the first. 5-1. And that's actually a good move by Ophelia Beasley. Gets a fresh set of 10 on the baseline. Inbound, McKinley Adams overshoots the ball. Emily Jones with the rebound. She'll put it up. It's the side of the backboard. She'll get it again. And a third chance coming here for the Warriors. See what they set up. McKinley Adams weaves her way around. 
on the perimeter. Ophelia Beasley, low pass, interrupted by the Cougars. Another jump ball. That'll turn over to Copper Basin this time. And Snowbird comes away empty-handed yet again. Emily Jones already with four rebounds here in the first quarter. Ball stolen away by Alicia Garcia. Easily looking for some open territory. Finds Garcia, but that's trouble. Big pass goes into the hands of Copper Basin. Number four, I believe that it was McKenzie Athens on the steal. And ball is loose, and the Warriors can't catch up with it. That's an interesting call. None of the Warriors touched the ball, but the call went against them, and it'll be inbounded by Emma Hughes for Copper Basin. Murphy Hayesville will be the other three title games, and spoiler alert fans, we're not going to stick around for that one. But we certainly hope any of you that are in the vicinity, and Clay County being only 15 minutes away, you've still got plenty of time to come over this afternoon to Murphy High and support your youth teams this afternoon. Termite boys, Mike girls and Mike boys to follow on the championship docket. We had third place games this morning. Two teams from Graham County picked up W's. That would be the Robbinsville Mike, or excuse me, Termite boys, I beg your pardon, and the Mike boys as well, also picking up the W just before we went live. 23-22 final. Shot put up by the Warriors will go nowhere. Another junk ball possession should stay with Snowbird, and it does. 2-0-2 to go in the first. Ball's inbounded and stolen away by the point guard, Morgan Athens. Fouls on Natalie Swimmer for Snowbird. And it'll be inbounded right in front of the front of our bench right here below us. If you've ever been here, folks, you know the crow's nest at Murphy literally hangs over the home bleachers. So, to needless to say, we are right on top of the action. The steal from Emily Jones, the pass inside, broken up by a whole host of Cougars. Tempe Hughes, Abby Dillard, both intercepting the proceedings. McKinley Adams off the inbound, tries a shot, and it'll be missed, but she'll grab her own rebound. Inside drive, and it rolls out. Put back by Swimmer. Nothing doing. Basin gets the ball back, and here comes McKinley Adams and Copper Basin. Going to penetrate. Good. Passes. But it'll go nowhere. Rebounded by Sw or excuse me, McKinley out of the beggar pardon. Pass inside to Swimmer and she gets the basket. That breaks the offensive drought for Snowbird. That's their first offensive basket of the game. Of course, the only other point came when Adams connected on a foul shot in the first 20 seconds. Swimmer gets the bucket. Assist goes to Adams. And we could have a one-point affair on our hands here in just a moment. And it goes off the backboard. And it'll be an inbound for Copper Basin, so that will negate the three-point play attempt. Turns it over to the Lady Cougars, but it's 5-3 now. Deficit looking a little bit better for your undefeated Lady Warriors. We hope you are enjoying this free presentation here on Facebook Live. You'll see something very similar to this if you join us on GramStarsports.com where we stream varsity sports for the White Knights and Lady Knights. Two telecasts upcoming this week. Hayesville played us last night, of course. Ball stolen away there by Ophelia Beasley, but the Cougars get it back. Tomorrow, or excuse me, Monday, I beg your pardon, it'll be Hiawassee Dam coming to Graham County, and then Tuesday is senior night 
And I, for one, am not looking forward to that because I've watched these young ladies and men, of course, grow up. And it'll be tough bidding them adieu on Tuesday night against Swain. We'll have both those telecasts available for purchase early next week. Emma Hughes looking for an inbound. Finally gets it to the point guard, Morgan Athens. Inside pass. That's trouble. Ball plucked away by Ophelia Beasley. That's her second steal here in the first quarter. And the ball squiggles out of bounds. A great crowd on hand. Very high, intense, loud atmosphere here at the Murphy High School gym. Ball plucked away by McKinley Adams. And that's some heavy pressure point guard to point guard. She's able to get away. Gives it to Jones for two. Can't get it. Put back. Drops. Foul calls. We are tied 5 all. How do you like that? So Swimmers put back successful. And this could be the go-ahead for the Lady Warriors. And it is. Hey, her second crack at the three-point play. She made it count. It's 6-5 in favor of Snowbird. 26 seconds left to play in the opening quarter. Big pass inside will go out. Last touch by Mason. Turns it over to Snowbird on the baseline. And it will be inbounded to McKinley Adams by Ophelia Beasley. Defensive pressure, no backcourt call there. Bentley Lambert was trapped in the right side but got loose. And that'll bring it in to our first quarter. 6-5 is the docket at the moment, and it favors the Snowbird Lady Warriors. We'll be back in just a moment from Murphy High School. You're enjoying this free broadcast this afternoon on Saturday here on Facebook Live. Back live for the second quarter. Good to have you with us here on Facebook Live. Free basketball coverage. You can't beat that on a Saturday afternoon. And we got a Graham County team in the mix. It's the Snowbird Lady Warriors and the Copper Basin Lady Cougars tangling for the Youth Conference Championship. And a massive amount of hands around the basket. Eventually, Emily Jones outreaches them all. Shot put up despite being off the floor. How about that? You gotta love the creativity you'll find in youth basketball. Travel called. And Sobert will get it under its own basket here. Here comes Beasley trotting in at the baseline. It'll be a spot toss in for Beasley and company. Rolls in and into a dog pile. Junk ball will turn it over. 5.22 left in the second quarter. Great steal there. Nicely done by Swimmer, but she'll run into trouble. And I think they're going to call a block on the Cougars. And they are. That will be on Mackenzie Aikens. I believe I'm reading that right here in the scorebook. No, Mackenzie Athens. I'm sorry. Inbound goes to Adams. Ball's loose and retrieved by Alicia Garcia. Adams circles inside again. Ball plucked away by Copper Basin. Point guard Morgan Athens. Pass inside and it goes awry. Went right off of Natalie Swimmer, or excuse me, McKinsey Adams fingertips. McKinley Adams. I'll get it right in a moment. Emily Jones will intercept Basin's effort. 
Jones is not careful. She'll have a double-double with no points. It'll be defensive stats. Rebounds and steals a plenty so far tonight for the daughter of the head coach. Assisted, of course, by Allison Rogers and Holly Jackson are the 10-0 Lady Warriors. Substitution coming for Copper Basin. That's Abby Dillard in the game, relieving Anna Bain. She'll jog back to the bench. Ball's loose. Junk ball. It'll stay with... Well, I'm sorry. I got confused on the possessions. There's only been about 85 junk balls here in the first half. 422 and counting. And score still 6-5. Snowbird. Another steal for Swimmer. She's had quite a few of those tonight. And that'll be a big, massive pile. Again... Morgan Athens does it right. That's how you get up off the ground, folks, from snagging a steal and not get rung up for a travel. And that went off of Abby Dillard, so it'll be a turnover again to the Lady Warriors. McKinley Adams passes around to Ophelia Beasley inside dive, and that's trouble. Jock Ball keeps it with Snowbird, and they will inbound it on the baseline. To number 20, Ophelia Beasley making an appearance. Chunks it in. Adams puts it up and connects. Beautiful shot by the point guard, McKinley Adams. Hopper Basin wants to call a timeout to find out what exactly is going on. Snowbird Faithful are up to their feet, and they got plenty of reason to celebrate. The Lady Warriors lead 8-5 here on Facebook Live. Back to Murphy High School. The tournament finals for the Termite Girls underway here in Cherokee County, North Carolina. Evan Hensley with you for the Saturday afternoon telecast. Running as solo, our tag team partner in crime, Montana Buchanan, can be found at Ingalls today in Robbinsville if you need a deli craving field. Foul called. And that was on Bentley Lambert for Snowbird. Set up a two-shot attempt, and hopefully the Cougars... We'll be able to connect here at the charity stripe is McKenzie Athens. And she does make her first. Boy, didn't waste no time. They ain't paying her by the hour, are they? Rebound on the second attempt, though, by Swimmer. Foul called as the drive into the paint from Swimmer. Interrupts the drive. Let's see who that was on. I believe that was on number 15. That was Abby Dillard. Ball inbounded to Snowbird. Henley Adams feeds it to Henley Lambert. Another foul called. That's two in a row on the Cougars. Morgan Athens this time charged with the boo-boo. And we'll tilt right here below us. Lambert inbound here on the left side, right next to the basin bench. And she gets it in to McKinley Adams here on Facebook Live. Another junk ball, snowbird possession. As we mentioned, the three title games remaining this afternoon at Murphy High School will be the hosting Bulldogs and Hayesville. So if you're in the area and you are a Bulldog or Jackets faithful, make the trip out. Come support youth sports here in Western North Carolina. Foul called, and that draws some controversy. But it stands nonetheless. I believe that was on Miss Adams. That is the fourth foul for Snowbird here in the half. Basin was six. And Athens with a chance to tie it here. Uh, she'll miss her first. Time to salvage the series here. 2.38 left in the half. And she goes one for two. 
Shot negated, I believe. And it was. Lane violation will interrupt that. 8-6. Score stand. Jock Ball gives it back to Basin. Inbound coming right here below us. Emma Hughes tucks it into Morgan Athens. Ball stolen away. Nicely done. McKinley Adams was good timing, but Morgan Athens kept up with her and eventually plucked it away herself. And then a foul called. On Alicia Garcia. All stolen away again. Emily Jones this time on it. Garcia in trouble gets it over to the point or is yeah, the point guard. McKinley Adams has the ball now. Tries to put up a shot. It's deflected by Athens. And Abby Dillard with the rebound. Travel called. That time, Athens a little too close to her feet for the officials to let it slide and give her the benefit of the doubt. Another turnover. Bentley Lambert inbounds to McKinley Adams. Shot no good. Abby Diller will pull it down to big center. We'll give it back to the Cougars. Dunk ball possession. Snowbird, I believe. No, I stand corrected. It's a Cougars inbound. But a timeout will stop that at Edmonds Tracks. 119 left in the first half. It's 8 6. Lady Warriors. We welcome back to Murphy for the Smoky Mountain Youth Conference Championship Tournament Finals. Termite Girls first to four this afternoon. We did mention, of course, earlier that we had third place games take place before. Our championships were decided. So it's an eight-game slate, all told this afternoon at Murphy. Special shout-out to the Robbinsville Termite Boys and Robbinsville Mite Boys for securing the third-place medals. And we've got an injured cougar on the floor. We'll have to check on her. She's a little gingerly back to her feet. That's Mackenzie Athens. And they'll get a quick sub in for her. Roxy Floyd will make an appearance in the game for Copper Basin. If you like what we're doing here, folks, go support us over at GramStarsports.com. That's where you can get your access to Robbinsville Varsity Athletics. And we stream it all season long and beyond. Foul is called on the drive. And I believe that's going to be on Emma Hughes. And that will put Copper Basin in the bonus, so it will give Stobart a one-in-one -one opportunity at the charity stripe. We'll do like we do as well during varsity at halftime. We'll crunch some numbers. It's an abbreviated halftime at youth, though, folks. Only five minutes in between halves. One-in-one -one goes nowhere. Rebound coming. Someone's got it. All rolls out. Cougars will inbound it from the corner. Shot interrupted. Batted down and stolen by Bentley Lambert. Blocking a steal for Miss Lambert, but a stolen ball of Turns it over again. Hey, folks, you got to remember the age group we're watching. They're still learning the fundamentals of basketball and still working out the kinks, so to speak. Short time. Adams trying to get close to the goal. Coughs it up. Four seconds, and it's a turnover again. So now the Cougars may have a shot before the buzzer. They won't get there despite the pleas of the masses. We in the first half in an 8-6 
Snowbird Advantage. We'll be back in just a few minutes with some halftime stat leaders. It won't take long, but it's 8 6, and we'll be right back here on Facebook Live. Hey, fans, welcome back to Murphy High School. We're here at the pause. It's 8 6 in favor of the Snowbird Lady Warriors. Took a moment to crunch some stats as we do for varsity on every single ball game that we cover over at GramStarsports.com. Of course, we're doing this one live for you and free of charge on Facebook to give you a sample of what you can expect with your hard-earned money and the purchase you make over at GramStarsports.com. At the break here tonight, it is a 8-6 lead for Snowbird, as we mentioned. Your points leader is Natalie Swimmer. She's got five in the ball game. She also has collected four rebounds and, of course, two steals. I'm looking over here to my uh, right. You see how professional this production is. About a minute left in the break. Hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing here tonight. Meanwhile, the point guard, McKinley Adams, has three points, two steals, and an assist. Now, Emily Jones, we've mentioned throughout the first half, has made quite the impact on the floor, even if she hasn't scored any points. And to tally it all up, she's got six rebounds, five steals, and one block. We'll go back to the floor in just a moment. Just about set to resume action. Stay with us, fans, here on Facebook Live. And welcome back to Murphy High School's second half faction underway. 8-6 Snowbird at the pause. And we'll see how the final half shakes out as Snowbird and Copper Basin vie for the Smoky Mountain Youth Conference Termite Girls Championship. This is the only games this afternoon that will feature non-Murphy or Hayesville teams, as a matter of fact. Shots of plenty being put up here. A lot of moving parts to get us underway in the third. Junk ball may end it. Perhaps not. It's going to get stolen away. Cougars finally get a grip on things, so to speak. Tempe Hughes with the takeaway. Ball stolen away. Flimmer up the floor. Can't get it in. Flimmer fighting for everything she's got. And rebounds a plenty. That's trouble down here on the other end of the floor. Number 34, Briley hits, trying to find an open player, and she does. But Sobart interrupts the proceedings. Who else but Emily Jones, who, as we mentioned in the first half, could very well have a double-double. How about two? Making it 10-6 from the point guard, McKinley Adams. Jones could have a double-double, as I was saying, without even scoring a bucket tonight. That's how dominant a force she is on the floor. She now has seven rebounds and six steals in the ballgame. 10-6, Snowbird. Inbounding right here below us is Emma Hughes to the point guard, Morgan Athens. Pass goes inside, and a foul called on the Warriors. Two-shot foul coming. And it will be on Natalie Swimmer. 4-11 left in the third. First one is off. We'll, of course, recap the game for all of you great Warrior fans and the Grand Star, your hometown newspaper since 1955, will have coverage in our February 9th edition. Rebound attempt, no dice, inbound coming. And it gets in, Athens to Athens. McKenzie airs it out. I was Morgan, excuse me, nothing on that. Rebounded by Natalie Swimmer. And the ball will get bumped loose on a block. I believe it actually was dribbled out. Got it right now. There we go. Bentley Lambert will inbound. I thought it would be a snowbird ball. I was a little confused there. 
Inbounded to McKinley Adams. Bentley Lambert trying to find an opening, and she's got it trouble from McKenzie Athens. Now back around to Emma Hughes. Lambert just trying to take charge here, but she's trapped. Gets loose. Point guard saves her. Travel called. We'll turn it over to Copper Basin. We also want to give a very special thank you to Shannon Lovingood and the Spooky Mountain Youth Conference itself. How about a basket for McKenzie? Athens cuts the deficit in half. It's 10-8. Got to have somebody back here to inbound it. Here comes Garcia in a flurry. And she'll get into McKinley Adams. Talking about Loving Good and the Youth Conference. They have done a fine job all season long. Getting us score updates, outcomes, and we've published results in every single edition of the Graham Star, as we did for youth football as well. Pass inside to the paint. Emily Jones tried for her first points. Can't get it. Eventually, Natalie Swimmer gets the rebound, and Paige Jones wants to find out what's going on with the Lady Warriors. Timeout on the floor with 2.54 left in the third quarter. And we're back live from Murphy High School, 10-8, as we wrap up the timeout. Paige Jones, Allison Rogers, and Holly Jackson, your coaches, piling back on the bench. We can't forget the honorary coaches, of course, Brooklyn and Camry Rogers. Keeping track of things for the Lady Warriors. Hey, a successful program, you got to have a lot of help and knowledge. And, hey, the results don't lie. They're 10-0 this year. Rebound by Copper Basin. That was Morgan Athens pulling in the board. Ball gets away. Last touch by the Cougars. So here comes the Snowbird inbound. Adams across midcourt gets it to Natalie Swimmer. Trouble inside. Athens strips it away. The point guard, Morgan Athens, up the floor. Pass inside. Rebound. Nothing doing. And pulled right down by McKinley Adams. Dumps it off quickly to Swimmer, who drives all the way to the other end of the floor. But a... It will be a foul on the Cougars. So the M1 coming... Nice work. Makes it 12-8 in the third. And we've got to have a little bit of a discussion here. Figure out what the foul was, who the foul was on. And we're waiting to see the outcome of that. It is 12-8 here in the third quarter. 2.15 left. In the Termite Girls Championship game, and you're enjoying it free of charge here on Facebook Live. Kevin Hensley from the Graham Star with you for the telecast. The well, fans, I think if I read the floor correctly, I think the point guard for Snowbird just, or excuse me, Copper Basin actually fouled out. And one will be good. 13-8. The Basin's got some ground to make up here in this low-scoring affair. Junk ball. Keeps it with the Cougars. I believe so. No, I'm sorry. It's going to be a snowbird inbound here below us. Ophelia Beasley inbounds to McKinley Adams here in this championship game. Two minutes to play in the third. Basket pass to Jones. Swimmer trying to get free. Travels under the pressure. Cougar basketball.
Ober coming out with some outside pressure. How about a shot here from number 24? That was Roxy Floyd trying to make some happen there. Instead, it will be a snowboard rebound for Jones. And now Swimmer flying up the floor and just holding on for dear life. Cougar inbound. Crowd getting anxious here below us. You got to love the coaches in the stands. So now Morgan Athens' sister Mackenzie's having to run, a, run point because Miss Athens fouled out. A lot of whistles on the floor. And I think we have a substitution. That is Ketriana Trimble coming in for Snowbird. Excuse me. Mackenzie Athens now passes it over. But it gets loose. Last touched by Roxy Floyd. So that'll turn it over to Snowbird. So you Beasley... To McKinley Adams. Pass inside. Shot up. Can't do it. I strip away. By a swimmer, but that will go nowhere. All sewn away that time by Ophelia Beasley. She had three steals here tonight. Foul uh, under the basket. I believe that'll be on McKenzie Athens. And it is called block, but it's not a shooting foul. So, the an inbound with 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot by Adams. How about the rebound by Garcia? But it's going to end up going nowhere. Garcia, her first board of the night. And a steal on her resume. We've got a couple of players we haven't seen yet for Snowbird. I'm sure they'll be coming here in the later stages of the quarter. Maybe even the game. Dive inside. Emma Hughes puts it up and can't finish the shot. But Lady Warriors last touched it. And with 5.9 left, the Cougars look to trim the deficit. And can't get the ball scooped up. Time's a tick in here, folks. We'll go to the fourth. Summer 13. And the Copper Basic Cougars 8. Stay with us here on Facebook Live. Welcome back, everyone, to Murphy High School. We hope you're enjoying our free presentation of basketball action here on this Saturday afternoon from Cherokee County, North Carolina. Snowbird. And Copper Mason have one more quarter left to play to decide the Termite Girls champion for the 2022-23 season. Lady Warriors out front by five at the moment. Chuck Ball will turn that one over to Copper Mason. And the inbound from Emma Hughes to... Now, Roxy Floyd running point. Cougars having to change things up. Foul trouble has reared its ugly head here in the second half of the game. And ball's turned over to Snowbird. Ophelia Beasley to the point guard, McKinley Adams. Warriors 10 0 this year. A shot there, nothing doing. Beasley pulled down the board. All swatted away. Foul called on McKinley Adams. We'll give it to Copper Basin. That shot will drop. 
Riley hits for two. 13-10 is your score. Five minutes to play. Tight net ball game. Basin led 5-1 in the first quarter. Snowbird surged back with a 5-0 run and has not looked back from the lead since. Nobody's guarding Swimmer. That's interesting. She's been an impactful player. Jones for two can't get it in either. Last touch by Basin. Inbound to Adams off the side of the backboard goes into the clutches of Jersey Beach for Copper Basin. Ball is stolen away by Garcia. Emily Jones gets it to Ophelia Beasley. Good passes, but that one a little high of the mark. Turns it over once again. 13-10 for 22 to play. Each trying to stay out of danger here as well. Ball loose. Rolls out last touch by Beach. Tell you Beasley and McKinley Adams to the inbound. Drive in by Adams, junk ball as she gets in the paint. Thanks. It is a basin basketball here now with three. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Well, players were confused. They were all on the other end of the floor. They'll come scurrying back. Inbound to Adams. Misses. Rebounded. By Briley Hicks. Three car pile up on the floor. And it's Copper Basin ball for sure this time. Roxy Floyd dribbles it out of bounds, unfortunately. If you're a Cougar fan. Well, we got some of you over here now watching with us from Copper Hill, Tennessee. If not, this video will be pulled down. We'll have it up on our YouTube page. Foul called. Keeps it with Snowbird, however. So when we, we, when we re-upload it, I'll get my English right in a moment. <laughs> we'll have it shared back here on Facebook. We'll trim out some of the dead parts. We'll boost the audio. Make a clean presentation for all of you fans to enjoy. Over on our YouTube account, search for us at the Graham Star. We've got events archived over there for the last three years. We started live streams during the pandemic when it first reared its ugly head in March of 2020. We're streaming government meetings, community events. And all we've done since then is accelerate the pedal to the floor even more. Kenley Adams misses her first attempt at the foul line. She'll go for the 1-2 split here. Very precise. Takes her time. Can't get the basket. Hard fought rebound. Another junk ball. Possession snowbird. And more children running around on the floor. Seems to be a recurring issue at games. How about McKinley Adams for two? 15-10 is the score now. Eight in. Ball plucked away by Swimmer. Here comes Natalie Swimmer. Stopped at the paint. Can't get close enough to make the basket. And the rebound pulled down by McKenzie Athens. Another steal for Swimmer. 
She's trying to go coast to coast, and it spins right through the net. Yes, indeed. And the players will have to be summoned back to the other end of the floor. Substitutions a plenty. And there goes McKenzie Athens. So the Athens combination has fouled out officially from the ball game. And that is huge if you're Snowbird. Get two of the Cougars' main guns out of the game due to foul trouble. Swimmer with a putback. Adams with a putback. Adams with a putback times two. And it's a pile of limbs buying it out. Copper Basin basketball with 2.18 left, 17-10, Snowbird. Good pass inside. Foul called. 2.08 to play. Cougars have Six fouls here in the second half. Snowbirds played pretty clean. That was just their third. At the line, shooting is Anna Bain, number five, for Copper Basin. Check in coming for Snowbird. That is Sequoia Walking Stick. Relieving Emily Jones after a dominant performance from Miss Jones here this afternoon. She was a force out there on the floor. She'll finish with nine rebounds and six steals. And one for two at the line. Goes Anna Bain. 2-0-2 to go. Still anybody's ball game, really. Only a six-point snowboard advantage. Bain trying to make something happen. The big center gets the re or gets the steal, and then McKinley Adams is rung up for a foul immediately. I guess she must have smacked her hand. Substitution again. Beach will check back in. I beg your pardon. That is Meadow Barnes checking in for Copper Basin. I thought I saw 24 who just received the ball. Roxy Floyd. Double team trap. Ophelia Beasley maintains the pressure. Timeout called by the Cougars. What else could you do there? And we're getting in the waning seconds, folks. Suburb leads 17 11, minute 43 left to play. Welcome back, folks, to Murphy High School 17 11. You're watching the Smoky Mountain Youth Conference Tournament. Finals for the Termite Girls, Snowbird and Copper Basin. We hope you are enjoying this free telecast here on Facebook Live. Foul called, and it's on Alicia Garcia with the bump. Inbound will try again for Basin. Meadow Barnes will inbound it. And I'd say the chances are, and I'm correct, they're going to Roxy Floyd, number 24. She's trapped in the corner again, gets it free, sort of. Natalie Swimmer there to clean up the scraps. Swimmer up the floor, basket. That's two transition baskets for Natalie Swimmer here tonight. 19 11. 120 to play. Substitution, Emily Jones, Finley Swimmer, and Kanitra Trimble will check in as we pull some of the bigs off the floor. Swimmer, Natalie Swimmer, Sequoia Walking Stick, and Catriana Trimble will hit the bench. Foul called 
on Finley Swimmer, who <laughs> just checked into the game. Even Paige Jones cracks a smile over that. Rubber 107 away from a perfect 11-0 season. Travel called on the rebound attempt by McKinley Adams. Gives it back to Copper Basin. And I suppose the Cougars going to inbound it here in front of their bench. Stolen away by Adams. Not to be deterred. The point guard gets the ball back, but chunks it away. I think she was trying to find Kanitra Trimble, but didn't quite time that one just right. 55 seconds left. When the horn blows, folks, we're going to have to rush down to the floor to get a championship photo, but we'll keep the camera pointed at the floor, and we'll come back up and wrap up the telecast. Again, we're doing it solo, missing Montana dreadfully today. But we're going to do the very best we can to bring you a polished production. Number 22, Emily Jones, rung up on the foul. Anna Bain to the line with 39 seconds to play. Copper Basin trails by eight at the moment. First shot from Bain, no good. Checking into the game, Natalie Swimmer and Alicia Garcia off the floor. Kanitra Trimble and Finley Swimmer. I believe everyone has seen playing time, including Olivia Robinson. She was out there momentarily. 0 for 2. Jones is back in and got a rebound. Wanting to ensure this championship does not get away from the Warriors. Many of the starters back on the floor. How well disciplined today. Snowbird has not had anyone foul out. They've kept the foul count low, as a matter of fact. They currently 7-6, of course, so it'll be a bonus time for Copper Basin. Any chance of a foul here? Ball stolen away again by Garcia. Here comes Basin. Feet inside. Nobody there to stop Swimmer. And she misses the wide open attempt. That's your ball game, folks. Robert has won the 2022-23 Termite Girls Championship. Hang tight with us, fans. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, as these things tend to do, folks, when you're live and in living color, there's not a whole lot you can do when the league president tells you, hey, we got to get the next game going. You guys got to go out to the lobby to get your picture. And, well, again, I'm trying to juggle multiple hats. We're going to wrap it up from here, though. We really appreciate all of you tuning in with us here on Facebook Live. You see right here below us the Murphy Bulldogs Termite Boys being introduced. They will face Hayesville. This is the first of three in a row between Murphy and Hayesville to close out our championship games here tonight. And we hope you've enjoyed our telecast. We're going to step away and leave it to the masses here in attendance at Murphy High. If you want to come watch the action, make the trek down this afternoon to Murphy High School. Thank you for tuning in to our free telecast of Snowbird Termite Girls Basketball. And congratulations go out to the Lady Warriors on an 11-0 and 0 
undefeated, as we mentioned, championship season. We'll see you Monday over at GramStarsports.com. Until then, I am Kevin Hensley. Have a great rest of your weekend.